What is Olympus DAO? In this video, we'll be doing a deep dive into the notorious protocol known as Olympus DAO. To start, we'll learn about what Olympus DAO aims to accomplish, we'll get into some of their history as a protocol, and also delve into the mechanics behind their OHM token. We'll finish off by covering some of their additional products, such as their Olympus Pro and Flex loans, and finally touch on their governance system. Without further ado, let's get into Olympus DAO. So what exactly is the purpose of Olympus DAO, and what is their mission? According to their own website, Olympus DAO is working to build a policy-controlled financial reserve currency that has a few important characteristics. Some of these include having deep liquidity, making it easy to transact even for large entities, being a good unit of account which can be used to transact between other major crypto assets, being a safe form of collateral that can be used by traders or treasuries, and being a long-term stable asset. The thesis behind their mission is built on the incorrect idea that many people have about the dollar being a safe store of value that will always maintain its purchasing power. That idea, however, is a fallacy, and we've been able to experience the effects of a volatile dollar in the recent American economy. The US dollar itself is constantly appreciating or depreciating, as can be seen on the DXY, a chart measuring the purchasing power of the dollar versus an index of other assets. And so, an opportunity arises to create an asset that can serve as a store of value better than anything else while avoiding strict regulatory restrictions like we see for stablecoins. By creating this asset, Olympus DAO aims to create critical DeFi infrastructure that they hope will be used throughout all of DeFi as a fundamental store of value. To get a better understanding of this protocol, I think it is also useful to explore some of its history and understand what sort of role it has played in the DeFi space. The protocol launched in March of 2021 in an initial Discord offering. This basically meant that users who had participated in the Olympus DAO Discord before a predetermined date were eligible to participate in the launch sale. This was done in order to encourage a more fair launch that saw users who were active and participating given an equal chance at early tokens. The initial supply distributed was 68,260. The protocol quickly began to amass popularity on social media as people began waking up to the massive rewards available to users who would buy and stake their OHM tokens. This began the 3-3 movement in the community, referencing a chart explaining the game theory for users buying and selling OHM tokens. The game theory worked off of the different ways in which users could use the OHM token and how much they benefited the protocol. The three options were given respective points, with minus one being selling OHM tokens, plus one being bonding on the protocol, and plus three being staking OHM tokens. Olympus, along with a few other protocols, also began to usher in a new movement known as DeFi 2.0. This movement referenced the new DeFi protocols that had quickly gained popularity in the 2021 bull market and were also pioneering new primitives. Eventually, the OHM token would grow to a market cap of $4 billion, making it one of the highest market cap cryptocurrencies in the world. As the 2021 bull market started to unwind, so did OHM, losing a vast majority of its value. The protocol, however, did not die with the bull market, and to this day, the Olympus DAO protocol still has hundreds of millions of dollars in total value locked. Now that we've covered some important context, we can move on to the actual protocol mechanics. To start, let's cover how the OHM token works. Each OHM token is backed but not pegged to $1. This allows the token to theoretically always maintain at least a $1 value, but also have an infinite upside price potential. OHM currently has a total supply of 27,264,695 tokens and a circulating supply of 20,010,571 tokens. It has a current price of $10.40, but has a liquid backing of $11.36. The OHM token is backed by the Olympus DAO treasury, which is made up of an index of 54 different assets. These include stablecoins, as well as other major crypto assets like ETH and BTC. For a full list of these assets, you can check out the Olympus DAO dashboard, which I will link in the description. Now let's get into staking. 
As mentioned before, staking used to give users a much higher APY when the protocol first began. This was done in order to reflect the expected growth of the protocol. That APY, however, was unsustainable, and the rewards from staking now come from the BSR or base staking rate. The base staking rate is decided via governance and is used as a demand driver for OHM as well as acting as a foundation for OHM bonds to develop a yield curve. Users wanting to stake can see some useful information about staking on the Olympus DAO staking dashboard. Some things to consider about staking are that OHM tokens that are staked turn into GOHM and any rewards received from staking will be in the form of GOHM. The staking rate is determined through this formula, where GOHM is equal to OHM times index. Index is the only variable that changes in this equation, and is derived from an increasing number based on the BSR. One important thing to note for people wishing to stake is the staking warm-up period. In order to protect the protocol from people gaming their system with flash loans, users will earn rebases every 8 hours with their rewards. They will only be able to claim their new GOHM tokens, however, after two rebase events have passed. If users wish to withdraw their capital before those two rebases finish, they can, but at the cost of their rewards. Olympus DAO bonds are another one of the most important tools available on the Olympus DAO protocol. Olympus defines their bonds as a financial primitive that allow for the transacting of assets, often between the protocol and individual stakeholders, over a specified time period and at completely market-driven prices. Olympus offers users four different types of bonds to help manage demand and supply forces for the OHM token. The first type of bond is the reserve bond, which works by offering users discounted OHM tokens in exchange for assets used as reserves for the Olympus treasury. These reserve bonds have the dual utility of helping to stabilize the OHM token price while accumulating profit from these bonds as treasury reserves. Inverse bonds work oppositely to reserve bonds by selling treasury assets in exchange for OHM tokens. This helps to maintain OHM price in the other direction by serving as a tool to absorb market sell pressure. One thing to keep in mind is that tokens bought through inverse bonds are vested instantly. Last are OHM bonds and liquidity bonds. OHM bonds work by selling OHM for OHM in order to transition off of GOHM into a time-locked semi-liquid token for staking. Liquidity bonds are similar to reserve bonds except that they bond in liquidity provider tokens issued by an AMM. These bonds are used when there is a need to accumulate more liquidity. Next I'm going to quickly cover Olympus DAO's flex loans. Olympus Flex Loans are a tool designed for other protocols who want to increase their own protocol liquidity with the help of Olympus. By depositing GOHM as collateral, protocols can take a 100% loan-to-value loan of OHM, which they can pair with their own protocol token. This helps to build native protocol liquidity for newer protocols, as well as making OHM more ingrained into the ecosystem. Olympus Pro is another product that helps protocols build liquidity, and I'll probably do a whole video on their bond protocol in the future, but for now, we won't get into it to save time. Last, I just want to touch on the governance system for Olympus DAO. Governance is decided through a governance DAO, which includes a council of members who are responsible for facilitating off-chain processes. Any member of the community can draft up a governance proposal, and governance proposals are voted on by members of the governance DAO. Overall, I think the Olympus DAO idea addresses a very interesting problem in the world of DeFi. How can we have a long-term stable store of value that can be composable throughout all of DeFi? It will be interesting to see how this project holds up in the future, and if such an idea can really be implemented well in this ecosystem. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, as it greatly helps this channel and its content. If you have any protocol suggestions that you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get to them. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there, Anons.